Hello, Larry Zay, Fire Captain, Time 5. You're watching Report on Condition. This week, we'll take you to a rollover traffic collision, and we'll also take a look at various incidents from the impact of Tropical Storm Hillary. Hi, I'm Maggie Klein De La Rosa. Thank you for joining Cal Fire Riverside County Fire Department's Report on Conditions. For the past week, from August 14th to August 20th, our firefighters responded to 4,066 calls for service, including 2,829 medical emergencies and 110 fire-related calls. Of the fire calls, 41 were vegetation fires and 16 were structure fires. Let's check out a few highlighted incidents from the past week. On Wednesday, August 16th, around 4.30 in the morning, firefighters responded to a report of a solo vehicle traffic collision in the 30,000 block of Grand Avenue in Lake Elsinore. The first arriving engine company officer reported one vehicle off the roadway, rolled onto its side with two people trapped inside. After about 40 minutes of extrication work, both patients were removed from the vehicle and transported to a local area hospital for further treatment of minor injuries. On Friday, August 18th, around noon, Firefighters responded to a structure fire in the 91,400 block of 2nd Street in Mecca. The resident called 911 to report smoke in the living room area, and when firefighters arrived, they confirmed a working fire in the attic space and requested additional engines. Thankfully, firefighters were able to quickly contain the fire to the attic, fire resources were on scene for approximately two and a half hours, and no injuries to civilians or firefighters were reported. Between Friday, August 18th through Sunday, August 20th, Riverside County experienced Tropical Storm Hillary, which resulted in several calls for service for flooding and water rescues throughout the county, especially in our lower desert areas. In preparation for the significant weather impacting our county, Cal Fire Riverside County Fire had pre-planned and staffed several water rescue task forces, as well as extra personnel available to assist. I got what it takes. I've got what it takes. I've got what it takes. This week's shout out goes out to Cal Fire Incident Management Team 1 members Alfaro Da Silva and Eileen Rodriguez, as well as California Task Force 6 members Dave Hudson, John Phillips, Dallas Smith, Fernando Guzman, Matt Vargas, Jason Wachter, Dan Arbgast, Richard Maddox, Dale Goodban, and Nick Picor who have been deployed to the state of Hawaii to assist following their wildfire disaster. Let's go to Chief Michael Moore and our partners at Riverside City Fire Department. My name is Michael Moore. I'm the fire chief for the city of Riverside Fire Department. Uh, we got a call last night from FEMA and they asked for a type one team, which is approximately about 65 members. We have a team there now. We have uh, two dogs that have been deployed um, approximately a week. And then we also have our IST um, blue team, which is a support team that was doing logistics, have been on the ground for approximately a week now. The City of Riverside is a host organization to California Task Force 6 that is responding to the fire suppression and rescue efforts on the Maui Island. This team is prepared 365 days to do this exact mission to take local firefighters from the City of Riverside and local agencies to deploy and support where people need assistance. California Task Force 6 is made up of many personnel that are cross-trained in hazmat, rescue, communications, logistics, and driving specialties. Partnering with all of our local agencies allows us the unique opportunity to serve on these national emergencies. Riverside Task Force 6 is proud to be part of one team and one, and one mission. This week, our strong work goes out to the Paris Emergency Command Center for their dedicated effort in working to dispatch a Riverside County record of 821 incidents on Sunday, August 20th, due to Tropical Storm Hillary. Every day, our dispatchers work with dedication and professionalism to get help to thousands of citizens throughout Riverside County. 
and the added dynamic of inclement weather creates a dramatic increase in calls for assistance. Outstanding work to all of our fire communications dispatchers in the Paris ECC. That's it for this week's Report on Conditions. Be sure to follow at CALFIRERRU on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook to stay up to date on incidents as they happen. Did you happen to capture any pictures or videos of our firefighters in action? If so, send them our way at rrupio at fire.ca.gov. On behalf of your CAL FIRE, Riverside County Fire Department, Public Affairs and Community Education Bureau, I'm Maggie Klein-De La Rosa. Thanks for watching.